So, you just spent all day recording a video of a good idea that you had, and then you put it in your computer and it looks like this it's for a whole car. But the way it works is you spray it on, you use a microfiber towel to smooth it out or cover the area, if you will. Whoa, I think I just figured something out, Beavis. <laughs> what? <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> yeah, me. It really sucks. <laughs> yep, I've done it too. Camera settings are wrong, or for some reason the camera or phone, whatever you're using, decided to totally screw up the exposure. Let's show you how to fix it real quick with DaVinci Resolve, and we'll get that straightened out for you, I promise. Yep, I know, it sucks, but it all is not lost, I promise. I've done it before, I've had stuff set wrong on my camera, I've had the white balance all screwed up, the... the Exposure's all wacky. And here again, you can see the video right here. And I'm going to hit play so you can see that this is what it is. It's for a whole car. But the way it works is you spray it on. You use a microfiber towel to smooth. And that's what it looks like. But I'm going to show you how to fix that really, really quick. All you got to do is open up DaVinci Resolve. Doesn't matter which one that you have. This current one is 16. Right now, I think they're on 18 or 19. Does not matter. It all works the same. Once you get it open, you're going to drag it in. Let me just show you real quick how this works. You have it open. Just disregard this. You have your DaVinci Resolve open. Go up to File and click it and then come down. Import File. You can do it that way. Or you can go to where you keep your, your videos and stuff. And I'm just going to randomly pick a video like this one right here. Left click it. Hold it. And then you're going to drag it and hover over to DaVinci Resolve icon right there that brings this up and then you can take it and drag it in your timeline right here or up in your media pool and then you just let go of it and then there it is but we're not using that so i'm going to go ahead and get rid of it i just wanted to show you how to bring it in now that you have it in here we go the fun begins go down to color which is right here click on that that brings this open let's say for some reason you don't have everything like this it really doesn't matter whether it looks like this or whether it looks like that this is just showing effects and stuff over and right to where you could put in different uh, effects that's what i'm trying to get out so i'm going to go ahead and make it large again so you can see the video you can see how dark my face is and everything if you look down here you have your color wheels and if you're not on your color wheels you know you could be on something like this you could be on something like that you mean something like that does not matter look for the little wheel with the dot in the middle of it click that and it's, it'll say color wheels as you have over it color wheels that's what you want this is where the magic happens does not matter which one you do first it's only two steps two steps now i'm not going to say this is a cure-all i'm not going to say that this is perfect but it's always worked for me sometimes you just have to play around with it but you can go in and micro adjust anything. Lift is your your shadows. Gain is your highlights. Okay. If you look at the color wheel on lift, right here on top left, there's a little crosshair. Okay, right there, little crosshair, right there. Click that. Okay, and then uh, it puts the little dot on there. I'll bring it over where you can see it better. You see, you can see there's a little black dot beside the crosshair. That is your shadows. So if you'll pick something that should be black or as close to black as you can get. In this case, I'm just, for instance, going to use my hat, the inside of my hat right here and just click there. Watch what happens. Boom. Brightened it up. And that's 100 percent better right there. But we can do better than that. Now we're going to work on the highlights just as you did the blacks. Now you're going to do the whites, which is the gain, the highlights. Go down there, there's your little crosshair with the little white dot beside it. Now you see the little white dot moving. It's magic, it's magic. <laughs> Find something that is white. Well, I can't use this, even though it's painted white. That is not a pure white. There's nothing pure white over here. There's nothing pure white. Maybe right in there. Let's click it and see what happens. Boom. There you go. If that looks a little too bright for you, just hit Control. Z and that puts it back one step. Every time you hit Control Z, it backs it up. 
I'm going to use the sky because normally the sky, whenever something is way out of whack, the sky, especially a cloud, works really good. So I'm just going to go right there and click on that and see how much better that looks than the last one. So if something doesn't look right to you, hit Control Z. Now take you back one step. Click on the little crosshair again and then just pick a spot. It doesn't matter. And just to prove it to you, watch this. I'm going to hit Control Z again. I'm going to go back to the original picture. There we go. I'm going to really screw it up. I'm going to do the highlights. Watch this. Got the little crosshairs with the white dot. I'm going to pick the hat. And it should just go crazy. <clears throat> See? Now it's not screwed up. Again. Let's use the black. I'm going to go a couple steps ahead. I'm going to pick the black. I'm going to bring it up. I'm going to use the sky as my black. Boom. Didn't do anything because the highlights are already blurred out. But that's two steps ahead that I've done. Let's do it again. I'm going to use the white. Go to my shirt. Use the black. Go to my eye. That's four steps. Doesn't matter. But watch this. Control and Z is your friend. Control Z once, twice, three times, four times. And we're back to the original picture. So even if you screw something up, don't worry. Control Z, back it up however many steps you want to go. And there you go. So one more time, here we go. This is the original video footage. I'm going to take the black. The crosshair is down here with the little black dot beside it. I'm going to go up inside my hat. Or let's try the back of the door. That, that works okay. Go down and get the white, which is right here. The crosshair is beside gang. Click on that. You don't have to hold it. Just click it. And then drag it up to the sky. And then boom. Look how much better that footage looks. Now let's go back to edit. I'm going to make the window bigger. So we can see exactly what's going on. And you can see how much better that looks. And it affects the whole section of video that you have. Our whole car. Okay. The way it works. That looks 100% better. 100% better. I really like that. I hope that you found this tip, this video useful because that's the whole point of it. Trying to help people learn a program. There's other programs out there. Some by Photoshop and all that. They all have similar ways of doing this. This is just specific to DaVinci Resolve. But they have similar ways to do it. And the reason I'm showing I always get asked. Why do I show? Why do I show? Why do I show? The main purpose of my video is to try to help. Not everybody is good at editing. Not everybody is good at catching on. Not everybody is good at details. Not everybody has the time to do all this stuff, to learn all this stuff. So if I can do my part and try to help, then hey, everything I've done on this channel is worth it. So you know what I say. And let me get you turned around and we'll finish this off. You know what I say. Get out there and enjoy those cars. I mean, I'm not outside. It's dark. So, hey, look. It is dark outside. But here I am doing this. And in a roundabout way, I am enjoying my car. Because these videos is part of me learning how to better video and enjoy what I do. So, until next time, get out there and enjoy yours. That's what I'm doing. That's what I always say. doesn't matter if I'm doing this. If I'm doing update videos, it doesn't matter. It's all intertwined, every bit of it. And we'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.